pretty excited to be here today with our all new model for the 2019 KX450. So we've got to get our dealers excited and get our customers excited. So our dealers, have, first time they've seen this bike and had a bit of a test ride. It's extremely important for people to actually get on these bikes and feel the differences of this all new KX450. The slimmer, the stability of it, the usable power. Without riding it, they can't actually tell all of our customers about these bikes. So for our VIP customers, they get the full treatment today. All they need to do is turn up, they get to ride the bikes, we feed them, and we also wash the bikes in between rides as well, we give them the full treatment. We've got some trying conditions out there today, but I think they're doing okay. There's a bit of mud going around. Pretty exciting for the dealers and hopefully pretty exciting for some of our riders. I think it's really important for the dealers to have proper ride and a feel of the bike. We can report back to our customers from the perspective of actually riding the motorcycle and feeling it, especially with the new model with so many changes as well. It's really important for us to know the new features and benefits of the new model. Pretty tough conditions out there, it's a bit wet, but tribute to the new bike, it is an amazing piece of kit to ride. It makes us old blokes look pretty good, heaps of power, all adjustable fuel injection, the new front end is pretty awesome. I think the real quick guys that are going to get on this bike straight away are going to feel right at home. That was the biggest thing that I noticed riding out of the pits. One of the changes with the new bike is a new 250mm rear disc rotor and I did a couple of laps. I had to come back in, get that brake pedal down a bit because it was locking up coming into corners. It was so strong. I really like the idea of the electric start. It's a very big thing these days on the motocross bike. So electric start and the hydraulic clutch for me. The hydraulic clutch is the first time that a Japanese manufacturer has been uh, using a hydraulic clutch and it feels really good. It's a little bit like the Brembo but a little bit more play initially and feels really good. The new motor has DLC finger followers in the engine so it's a, a bit of technology they've brought back from MotoGP. That allows a much steeper, more aggressive cam profile, which really lifts the power of this bike. Overall, it feels like a great bike. I can't wait to get it onto a dry track and really give it another test in those conditions, but so far I think Cowie's onto a winner.